my life was in ruins, and uh, I was wasting my talent. I was a liar. I was a con artist. I was taking anywhere from 10 to 12 hydrocodone or oxycodone every day of my life. And I was a broken young man until Jesus did a miracle in my life. And uh, I travel all over the country now and I share my story. And I don't share my story because it's fun or convenient to do so, but I, I tell you my story because I would say every single person in this auditorium has been touched by addiction in some way or another. Maybe you have a grandson or a granddaughter or a son or a daughter. Some of you have parents that are struggling with addiction. Some of you have spouses that are struggling with addiction. And if I can give you just a little bit of hope by letting you know that Jesus is still in the business of breaking chains, he's still in the business of setting people free. And you might say, how do you know that? Well, I know that because today has been 2,430 days exactly since Jesus miraculously set me free. And if he did it for me, he can do it for your kids. He can do it for your grandkids. He can do it for you. Because the blood of Jesus is greater than any sin that you or I could ever commit. And isn't it amazing that only God could take something like blood, something that the world views as gross and gory, and God took his son's blood and he made it beautiful. Because the most beautiful thing in the world to me tonight, this afternoon, is the blood of Jesus. Because without the blood, I would not be standing in Gilbert, Texas today singing about the greatest man that ever walked the face of our earth and his name is Jesus Christ. If you're grateful for what that man and his beautiful blood has done in your life, will you give the Lord a hand this afternoon? Yeah. This is my story. Come and clean Bye. 